Dragic into the paint, sets up Whiteside. Whiteside gets his own offensive rebound and scores. Well, Hassan finding out that offensive rebounding, a, another tool in the box. If you want to have a me-first attitude in the rebounding department, have at Whiteside hits the jumper. That's an underrated part of his game. Well, he's fun to watch, a volume rebounder and shot blocker and jump shooter all of a sudden. <laughs> I like that for the rebound. And now it's Wade, Whiteside, and Johnson on the offensive end. Hassan hits the hook, fading away from the basket. Whiteside with eight points, nine rebounds, but still looking for his first shot block of the game. He Wade gets his second assist. Whiteside tips it in. Well, how about a double-double in the first half for Hassan Whiteside? Yeah. Ten points, ten rebounds. Double-double on the one play. All right, thank you, gentlemen. We'll look forward to hearing you guys at halftime. Whiteside backs up and bottoms it out. Hassan Whiteside, quite the half, 12 points and 11 rebounds. He's made six of his nine shots. Dirk Nowitzki looked like he had Wade it. pick and rolling with Whiteside. He got it there. Nobody better in Miami than getting the ball to the big man. They put Nowitzki in the middle just like White. Whiteside. Oh, yes. Whiteside. Offensive rebound, then he rolled it home. Tough rebound. That ball was down near his knees when he caught it. Oh, 16 points now for Whiteside. 13 first half rebound. Eight for 11 from the floor. Just doing a great job offensively, rebounding the ball, just cleaning the glass. 13 rebounds. And hitting, he's hit, he's hit three jump shots to go for in, in that mix of eight for 11. So it's not just all those little easy ones and dunks like you usually get. That one there was the prettiest one. All the, the, the timing, the hands, and the quickness he shows as a rebounder and a defender. He's showing you on the offensive end of the game. He doesn't have a block yet, but he leads the lead. The proof is in the minutes. He's played over 30 minutes in six of the last seven games. Great catch, another finish, and a perfect pick and roll throw from Dwayne Wade to Hassan Whiteside, who has made all six of his shots here in the second quarter. Good play out of the timeout. D. Wade, five assists. Taking his example. In quote. Eric, tell me back over to you. Thank you, Jax. What a great pass by Dwayne Wade. He thread the needle, the Hassan Whiteside. Oh, he had the layup. Gave it off to Whiteside, who buries another hook. Got it anyway. That was a tough cat, tough pass to catch. Now Felton is on Udry. And Jeremy Evans is on Green. Whiteside was fouled by Dwight Powell. Free throws awaiting the big fella, Hassan Whiteside. Whiteside against Evans. Yes! <laughs> Hassan Whiteside has tied his career high with 25 points. And Wade saying Hassan's going into his yeah, bag he, of tricks. He saw that on the way down. The Mavericks fall to 19 and 14. And the Heat improved their record to 19 and 13. Eric, thank you very much. Hassan, first of all, team-wise, what was different today? You guys came out and you held a lead. It, 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 things have been going back and forth with you all. Had good halves, but an entire game put together for victory. Uh, we just came out here just, just to start the season off. You know, um, starting the new year off with a win and um, just come out here and play hard defense and um, just get a win. These Mavericks, Mavericks had been rolling. They'd won four straight. They had just beat the defending champs. Anything particular you did to slow them down? Um, you know, it just kind of made it tough for them interior and um, just, just put pressure on their bigs and um, on their shooters. It's not a nice night for you. You tie your career high, 25 points, a season high, 18 rebounds. How did it all find you? Um, you know, I'm just trying to get my, my all-star ratings up, you know, and uh, I'm just coming out here playing as hard as I can and um, just trying to get the win every night. I see you starting a new initiative there. Uh, what was in the bag? This was your 99th game. Can you have a bag after 99 career games? Uh, real moves that I don't think people know I got. So I had to um, I had to go in the bag and show them. You know, I had to show them tonight. Teammates were all over now. The man has played 800 games, was laughing extremely hard. It's good to see that everyone's sharing in that joy. Uh, overall, as you guys look at uh, what's ahead of you, and I know you kind of keep locked in on each game by itself, but January is a monster. How important is it in these five home games that you have to have these type of wins? Uh, it's going to be tough because we're going into uh, um, city to city, you know, on the road. You're not at home. You're away from your family. Um, it's going to be tough, but, you know, we just got to stay together and, um, just, just combine as a team and um, just just get the wins. The Avalanche starts on Sunday in Washington. Thank you for the time. Happy New Year. All right, Happy New Year, y'all.
Very good. There's a man right there. An array of things coming at you in 2016 from that man right there.